We offer viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the TV Mass prayers, the scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers and reflections on the weekday Mass readings. For your free copy, call toll-free 1-855-855-MASS. So that's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Heart of the Nation channel. Just click below. Please remember to send in your gift to help support the Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass. Thank you and may God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. As we gather on this day of Christ the King, we are so pleased and joyous to be here. The Lord has called us to this moment. Yet we also realize that there are times in our lives when we don't always live up to that calling, to that commitment. And for those times, we ask for forgiveness. We cry out, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation set free from slavery may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will look after and tend my sheep. As a shepherd tends his flock, when he finds himself among his scattered sheep, so I will tend my sheep. I will rescue them from every place where they are scattered, when it was cloudy and dark. I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will give them rest, says the Lord God. The lost I will seek out. The strayed I will bring back. The injured I will bind up. The sick I will heal. But the sleek and the strong I will destroy, shepherding them rightly. As for you, my sheep, says the Lord God, I will judge between one sheep and another, between rams and goats. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ all shall be brought to life. But each one in proper order, Christ the firstfruits, then at his coming those who belong to Christ. Then the end comes, and he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father. When he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. When everything is subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to the one who subjected everything to him, so that God may be all in all. The word of the Lord. be with you. And your Proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to Jesus said to his disciples, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. A stranger and you welcomed me. Naked and you clothed me, ill, and you cared for me, in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will say to him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least of my brothers or sisters, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry and you gave me no food. I was thirsty and you gave me no drink a stranger, and you gave me no welcome, naked, and you gave me no clothing, ill and in prison, 
and you did not care for me. Then they will say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or ill or in prison and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of the least ones, you did not do for me. And these will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Those of you who work with the public will understand what I'm trying to say right now. It's really difficult to have an intelligent conversation with some people because no matter what you say, there is always a better answer and they have it, you don't. It's truly difficult to be at the service of some people. Why? Because there are so many times when it seems as if the public really feels that they need to get what they deserve. And they are going to get it no matter what. And you are there to serve them. The funny thing is about it is when we are in the opposite side, when we are on the other side of all of this, we feel that we're being treated badly. And so we are challenged each and every day to treat others as we would want to be treated. But, as I reflect on all of this today, I wonder where I would be, where I fit in. I wonder, would I be on the side of the sheep or the goats? Do I care for my brother or sister or Am I lost in the moment, not thinking that they too are God's children, no matter where they come from or what language they speak? As we just recently celebrated Thanksgiving, let us think and reflect on the many things that we say that we are thankful and grateful for. And let us also reflect on the people that God constantly places in our path to wake us up to the challenge of loving. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and then seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And now with prayer, with confidence, and trust in the power of God, let us bring our prayers and petitions. For the church, that we may never tire or grow discouraged when feeding the hungry, welcoming the stranger, clothing the naked, caring for the ill, and visiting the imprisoned. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, that they may see the dignity in every human person and respond in that light to those on the peripheries of society, to those are, who are most in need of assistance, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For a transformation in our society in which mercy, compassion, generosity, and kindness may form a firm foundation for all our values. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a respect for all human life, from conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For those in our flock who are ill or injured, lost or turned away, especially among our heart of the nation parish family, that they may know the grace of our loving and forgiving God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they be judged in mercy and rise in glory and grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs and prayers of all our Heart of the Nation parish members, including those joining us from the states of Louisiana and Virginia, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, once again, your children come before you. We ask you to hear these prayers that we have voiced and those prayers deep within our hearts. And we ask you, Lord, to grant them in your good time through Jesus Christ, our Lord. my sisters and brothers, that these our gifts may be acceptable to our loving God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and king of all creation so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, and all who serve and minister in your name. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Francis, St. Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and worry, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace and a special peace to all of those at home.
Behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorifying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And so may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our Mass has ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another.
offer viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the TV Mass prayers, the scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers and reflections on the weekday Mass readings. For your free copy, call toll-free 1-855-855-MASS. So that's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Heart of the Nation channel. Just click below. Please remember to send in your gift to help support the Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass. Thank you and may God bless you.